not really sure where to start with this video. What's up you guys, it's Erin, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a casual video. It's gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna do my makeup and just talk to you guys about whatever I feel like talking about, life, makeup, whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna talk too much about the makeup as I am going through things. I'm either gonna put up a picture next to the product as I apply it, like in the little up here, or I will have it down in the description box. I'm not quite sure yet, but yeah, let's just get into this video. All right, I zoomed in a little bit in hopes that you guys can just see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I'm working on the camera work right now. I just have an iPad that I flip around. It's the new iPad Pro, so the camera is pretty good, but I flip it around and then I have to set it on a tripod and figure out a good spot and then check it and then sit here and start filming again so I can't see myself. So it's a process to make sure I make sure that I'm in frame. But that really gets me to my first thoughts here is um, I've only had this YouTube page for YouTube channel I should say for I don't know a couple months now and I post maybe Maybe once a week. I try to post at least once a week more if I can, but I also have an Instagram page. If you haven't checked that out, it's just the same name. I started that Instagram page about two, I think it'll be three years in like fall that I started my Instagram page and I just started it because I wanted people to talk about makeup and beauty with because no one in my life was like as into it as I was. But having my page really started this just enjoyment and hobby and trying new products, posting about them, posting tutorials, and I gained some followers. You know, in the last two years, I've gotten about 3,000 followers. Now I'm at like, I can't remember, 30, 300 something maybe. And it's just kind of stuck there the last few months. It goes up and down by like 50 followers maybe. And it just really hasn't moved. And I try not to get too hung up on the numbers of it. For a while I was getting really stressed and trying to post a lot of reels because that's what I heard worked. I got into YouTube because I wanted to, but then I just got overwhelmed with like trying to do too much. Like posting reels, posting YouTube, posting on Instagram stories. I'm a full-time nurse, so it's just not realistic for me. So in the past few months, I've just started to let that go a little bit and focus less on the numbers and just more on what brings me joy and what I want to do because I think it's the pages where I can really see someone's personality and that they're enjoying themselves that I enjoy watching myself like I was thinking about what YouTube videos I like to watch and it's just like chit chatty videos where people talk to the camera and they show their personality and I feel like I'm you know just like hanging out with a friend that's like kind of what I enjoy so I've never really done like something so casual and I feel like I'm kind of stiff in front of the camera so I'm hoping this will loosen me up just a little bit but yeah so the other thing I've been thinking about is getting a camera. I've been playing with that for a long time. I think it would make my life easier. I'd have to learn how to use the camera, but it'd make my life easier to have better quality photos for Instagram and also have one that has like a mirror that I can see myself and I have a new iPad that I could edit on. It would just make life easier, but I know it's not a necessity. You know, and a camera it also has a huge learning curve of learning how to use it and I'm not going to act like I know how to use a camera. So there's a few I've been looking into and I was like thinking about maybe I could make it like a 30th birthday gift to myself. But let's be real, I already got myself stuff and I went to go see my friends in Denver. So I think it's just an excuse to buy it. But yeah, what type of YouTube videos do you guys like to watch? You know, I find myself watching 
more now than I used to, like just chit chatty videos like this, um, reviews on products I might want to buy. I don't really, at this point, I mean maybe some people do, but at this point, I don't watch a lot of too, like just straight like people putting their makeup on and teaching. I don't feel like that's really what I need at this point. And I think a lot of YouTubers are straying away from that because at this point a lot of people know how to put their makeup on. Um, but I don't know. I do sometimes watch like tip videos, but not like straight up tutorials, like how to achieve this smoky eye. That's kind of like what I started with with Jacqueline Hill's videos like years ago, but I've kind of just strayed away from that type of thing. But yeah, I'm curious to know what type of stuff you guys are watching these days. I totally just forgot that I had washed all my brushes last night and most of them were still in the bathroom. So I had to go get them. I think they're dry enough that we can make it work. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time nurse. I know I've mentioned that before, but I, um, I work in an ICU setting. Um, it's like a cardiac surgery ICU, so it's a surgical ICU, and I work a night shift, so it's just been, um, it's always a work-life balance for me, like finding enough time for this page, but not doing it to the point where I'm stressed out, because I feel like, what's the point if this page is like a second job to me, or I mean this channel, this page, whatever, social media. You know, what's the point if it's like a second job and I, I don't enjoy it and I just feel even more stressed out? Um, I like to use it as an outlet for me. But the issue is, is that, you know, you have to be consistent to be seen on a lot of platforms. So I try to be consistent and I really do enjoy, you know, getting on Instagram and YouTube and everything, sometimes TikTok, um, and posting and interacting with friends. But lately I've just been evaluating, you know, to what point is it worth it? Because if it's to the detriment of my mental health, then it's not worth it. And I've just been figuring out, you know, what I care about and what I want to do. It's easier said than done. This year in general has been really hard on our unit. We've had a lot of really sick patients, just our acuity has been higher, you know, the amount of really really sick people is higher than it used to be and it's a high stress job and it's hard to not let it get to you sometimes people dying and just really heavy things that people are going through it's hard and I'm, I'm doing my best to try to make sure that I take care of my mental health but it's 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 just, it's a lot and I, I know that it affects my attitude and my mental health and I have to make sure that I take care of myself first before worrying about other things like social media and all that, but I don't know. I've been, um, me and my husband got a Peloton in the last, we've had it for almost two months now. It came in April, no, a month and a half. And I've really been enjoying that, just like getting back to doing things that are good for my body because it's easy to just feel tired from night shift and just be a slump into the couch and stress eat. That's like my thing. I like to like stress eat and that's not good. And then I just feel worse and don't want to do anything. So yeah, having that Peloton has been really good. Um, outlet and I've been trying to get back into meditating. I was trying to do that for a while um, on the app 10% Happier when I went to therapy for a little while. It's the app that my therapist recommended that's like for very, very beginners with very short meditations that aren't intimidating. Like it starts with like five minutes at a time and moves your way up. I don't think I'm very good at it, but I don't think that's the point. I think it's just to like separate your mind from other things. And I think, it, I think it does do that. But yeah, I've been just trying to do things that are better for my mental health and not getting so down on myself if I can't do 50 things in a day 
and you know that's okay like sometimes my personality is that okay I have a to-do list I have one day off I want to get groceries I want to work out I want to film two videos post one of them it's just sometimes I'm not like very realistic with myself and what my goal should be like for the day and then if I can't get it done then I don't I don't do anything and I know that I'm not the only one that's like that it's like okay small goals do a few things on the list and that's and that's okay you don't have to be productive you know 23 hours out of the day that's just not realistic and you know, with my job, I do need to make sure that my days off are time for myself and relaxing, not just time doing social media stuff. I freaking love this new sponge. And then there's the other thing that happened to me recently. It happened to me. I turned 30 and I knew it was coming, obviously, but it's just a big milestone. Stepping out of my 20s kind of made me realize, you know, to try to think about think about things that I want for the future. Um, my husband and I will be married for coming up on two years here, and we don't have any kids. I do think we want kids, but I don't. I don't want to force it before we're ready. I think turning 30 as a woman, whether you want kids or not, makes you evaluate your plans because we do have limited time. Um, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. I just, I wanna make sure that I do things I wanna do. Not that that ends when you have a kid, but it's your number one priority after it happens. So I just wanna make sure that that's what we both want before we, you know, jump in, jump into that whole new world. We've also always talked about the fact that we would like to do a trip to Europe before we have kids because obviously it's a lot harder after you have kids, not that you can't go, but there's a lot more involved once you have kids. And my husband's been to Europe, but I have not. And I've always obviously wanted to go. I mean, who hasn't? But these brushes are still kind of who hasn't always wanted to go to Europe? I mean, I've always wanted to go to Europe, and I think that we thought either last year or this year would be the year to do it. My husband's been to Europe, but I have not. He's been to a few different countries, and I've only been to Costa Rica, and then we went to Hawaii last year, which is obviously the U.S., but it was a, probably my favorite trip we've ever done. And we're trying to plan a vacation yet for this year. Um, because I have time off work, I have to plan my time way, way, way in advance as a nurse. So we're trying to figure out what to do with our time. It's in September. So for like Bahamas and those countries, it's like hurricane season down there. And then I was like, well, we're not going to go out of the country. So maybe like East Coast or West Coast. But I'm like, that just seems not lame, but not as exciting as it did when we were gonna do Europe. So then I was researching just just to see like what countries are open again. We're both vaccinated. I've been vaccinated for a long time. I was like vaccinated in December. He's been vaccinated for a long time. And just playing around with the idea of what would it be possible? Would it be enjoyable? to go there or, or would it just be too stressful? There's a lot of countries that are open again. I didn't really realize that, but just logistically where we would go and if we would go out of the US is just something we're thinking about. I think, you know, eventually things are just gonna open back up. Obviously, COVID is still bad in a lot of countries. Not all, but a lot. And we would never go to those countries. We would go to countries that are open and that are considered safe, if you will. But it's, it's a lot to think about. And so we're just 
and I don't know what we'll end up doing. But I also feel like there's no time like the present. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. And if we have the opportunity, like we both have like two weeks off to go somewhere out of the country, then I want to do that in a safe way, but I want to do it. What else is, can I talk to you guys about? The weather is getting really nice and warm here. It has been for a few weeks now. In Wisconsin, we only get like a very short window of summer weather that's not overly hot. That's enjoyable. We're at that stage right now, so I'm really just trying to enjoy the outside weather. We're going, I'm going on walks with Charlie every day. We have a little, we have a little wiener dog, if you didn't know. And he is the love of my life, my little buddy. And yeah, he's loving it. We also have a little garden bed out back. And in June we'll be, we'll have been in this house a year. So it was already warm by the time we got here last year and we were just worried about moving. And the yard was just secondary. Sorry, my phone keeps vibrating. The yard was just secondary as far as that's all concerned. But now we have a garden bed that's ready for, sorry, I can't talk and do this. We have a garden bed that's ready for like, I want to plant like peppers and lettuce <clears throat> and like that kind of garden, a garden you eat, not like flowers. But I've always said I wanted that, but I'm not the best at keeping plants alive. We have a few plants in the house that I really like, but sometimes I struggle to keep them alive and I'm a little overwhelmed by what to plant and what to plant by what and how to maintain it. So if you have any good garden yard style YouTube channels that you watch, let me know. It sounds kind of lame, but I definitely need help in that department. And also we need to plant flowers. Just like landscaping is a whole new ball game that I never thought about when we were in an apartment. So been busy with that. Ooh. She's bright. I want to keep this makeup look wearable because I think my husband and I are going out to dinner tonight. So I don't want to do anything too crazy. And I wanted to film this video today because I work all weekend this weekend. When I work, it's definitely just work. I work 12 hour shifts, uh, three days a week. So my, my shifts really just vary and it's my weekend to work. So I always work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which will be Memorial Day weekend. But it's also my holiday. So I have to work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday night into Memorial Day. And I don't remember the last time I did four shifts in a row and it's just how it is because of how... Ooh, this blush is looking pigmented. It's just how it is because of how my schedule fell. So I'm just trying to film some content and then have it edited before I go in for the week. But yeah, I'm really enjoying YouTube. I did a few videos a few months ago and then I kind of was like, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I'm good at it, but I don't think you can get good at anything unless you practice. I feel like it took me a long time to get my groove on Instagram. It's going to take more than 10 YouTube videos of filming and editing to get my groove and expect people to follow me. So I'm just posting what I enjoy and what I think others would enjoy and trying to be better at showing my personality because when people are stiff and I can't really tell who they are or what they like, it doesn't make me want to subscribe to them. So. This is kind of an exercise for me to just loosen up a little bit, show my personality, talk about my personal life a little bit more, and you guys will, sorry, I can't talk into lip liner, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. Because at the end of the day, I've been trying to think about, you know, 
I'm not gonna wanna keep doing something that I'm not enjoying and I don't take pride in. And so I need to just let all the other stuff go and not do things because I think it's what other people like, do it because it's what I like and remember why I started this page and it's because I love makeup and I love helping others with makeup and making it more attainable and relatable and connecting to other people like me and teaching people who don't know a lot of makeup, about a lot of makeup. So I sometimes think that if you do what you love and people see that the rest will fall in place and I just try to manifest those types of things in my life and not worry so much because I think there are a group of people that enjoy my content and really isn't that all that matters. Wow, for talking and doing this makeup, I think it turned out really good. All right, that is it for this chit chatty, put on makeup with me, talk about life with me. Let me know if you like this kind of video where it's just casual. We just sit down and talk about whatever's going on with life. If you like this kind of video where I'm just chit chatting about life and it's super casual, let me know down below in the comments so I know. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to this little channel here. And yeah, hopefully you guys like this kind of video. I actually really enjoy doing it. So um, if you guys like it, we'll definitely do more in the future. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.